good morning today we'll uh, discuss one example on marco sources for the first order marco source shown in the figure draw tree diagram represent the states and the at the end of second symbol interval and find the corresponding probability let us take one sample example now assuming the state probabilities of 1 2 and 3 are 1 by 3 all are equal and this is a 1 by 3 and transition probabilities are given for example the probability of moving the state from 1 to 2 it is given as 1 by 4 moving from 2 to 1 is 1 by 4 from 1 to 1 it is a 1 by 2 now using this how to write a tree diagram before that how to understand the given problem there are three states in the given problem statement we have a state number one state number two we have another is a state number three the transition between the states is shown by the directed lines so this is a transition from one to two so this is a shown by directed lines the immediate symbol when it there is a transition it is shown by the z x like this the mark along the transition line and let us take that the source is in the state number one the source can emit a symbol x with a probability half and return to the same state you can see the state number one and the source can emit a symbol x with a probability half and it will come back to the state number 1. Similarly, source can emit a z symbol with a probability 1 by 4 and go to the state 2. Now with the state number 1 only, it can emit the symbol z and it can go to the state number 2. What is the probability? It is written here 1 by 4. Similarly, the source can emit a symbol y and with a probability 1 by 4 and go to the state number 3. See, state number 1 to the state number 3 and with the probability 1 by 4, it is emitting the symbol Y. Probability of source emitting a, the two symbol sequences XX is given by. How we can find out? See, this XX I want. There is a one chance. How can I get XX? See, there is a state uh, is in the one, the considering uh, state number one. When it is a move from 1 to 1, again 1 to 1, I will get a x and x. Similarly, when it is move from 2 to 1, it will generate x. Again, 1 to 1, we will get a x. Similarly, let us consider if it is in the third state. It is moving from 3 to 1, it will generate a x. Again, 1 to 1. So, these are the three options. So, 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 2 to 1, 1 to 1 and third one is 3 to 1, 1 to 1. To calculate probability of xx, I have to consider this. What is the probability that this uh, source is in the state number 1? It is already given in the problem statement only. It is 1 by 3. And what is the probability that it may move from 1 to 1? It is given in the problem statement in the figure 1 by 2. Fill this 1 by 2. Again 1 to 1, 1 by 2. Similarly, what is the probability that the source may be in the state number 2? It is 1 by 3. And 2 to 1 probability, 1 by 4. How? 2 to 1 probability is 1 by 4. Similarly, 1 to 1 is 1 by 2. Like that, what is the probability of third state? 1 by 3. 3 to 1, it is there in the diagram. 3, 2, 1, 1 by 4. And 1 to 1, it is a 1 by 2. Simply if I multiply these and add all these three, I will get a probability of xx as 1 by 6. Similarly, we can calculate the probability of xz, xy, yz, yx, all the probabilities you can calculate. Pause for a minute, understand this slide and try to calculate probability of xz, xy, yz, zx, all those. 
later you can watch this video again pause here calculate hope now you have calculated these are the answers you can compare product of x z equal to 1 by 12 and probability of y x y is 1 by 12 and probability of x z z x is 1 by 12 like that all these probabilities what you have calculated you can compare now how to write a tree diagram for this marco source take this diagram this is the way how we write a tree considering the state number one there is a chance that it may move from one to one one to two 1, 2, 3. All three options are there in the diagram. 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 1, 2, 3. Sometimes if it is not there, I should not consider 1, 2, 3. That's all. Similarly, all these three will remain same. 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3. So, this is the way how we do. Write it. And if I need one more extra, you can go for again 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2. 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, like that everywhere you can take. So for third symbol, now I, let us discuss only two symbols. X, X, like that only will take a two symbol. Now let us take only this much area and we'll have a discussion. How to write probabilities on this, how to write the symbol. Now this, I have a state number 1 and 1 to 1, it will emit X, probability is half. This I am writing. 1 to 1, it is emitting a x and the probability is 1 by 2. Similarly, 1 to 2, it will emit z, probability is 1 by 4. Where? See, 1 to 2, it will emit a z, probability is 1 by 4. That's all. Similarly, third one, 1 to 3, it will emit a y and probability is 1 by 4. Similarly, now we can go for a second stage. Now again from 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, you know the probability. This only will come x, z, y. x, z, y. What is the probability? 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 you have to fill. Then simply multiply all these three. Let us consider 1 to understand better. Now this is the same thing I have taken. 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. This is 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. To get x, x. Now this will generate x, this will generate x, total is x, x, what is the probability? Multiply from here 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3, 12, that is a 1 by 12. Similarly you have to multiply 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 1 by 4 for xz. For xy, multiply these 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, you will get 1 by 24. Similarly again you will get here x, z y x means you'll get zx here here zz here you'll get zy like that pause for a minute continue the problem fill all these things now hope you have done you can compare your answer now the answers are shown zx zz zy yx yz yy see this whatever you have done considering the Starting from the state number 1. Similarly, we have to repeat the same thing starting from state number 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3. So, like that, we should repeat. Pause for a minute and do it. Later, we can cross verify the answers. So, like this, you have to do it. 2, 2. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3. Again, you repeat these things. Uh, probabilities and symbols, what you will get? Say, for example, 1, 2, 1, what you will get? X. X, X. What you write here? 2, 2, 1, what you will get? 2, 2, 1. It is a X. So, like that, you have to write all the probabilities and all the symbols. This is what you are going to get considering state number 2. Starting from state number 2. Similarly, you fill all these things, calculate and try to write all the probabilities. Pause for some time, do it. Similarly, I have to repeat state number 3, 3 to 1, 3 to 2, 3 to 2, 3. Again, 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, like this. 
all the probabilities you have to write, all the symbols you have to write. That completes your tree diagram. Take interest. Pause for a minute. Do it. This is a considering the state number 3. Now tree diagram is over. This is a way for any given problem how to write a tree diagram. Now find the probability of xz using the tree diagram. You may have only once xz in the tree diagram. You may have more than once. If it is only once you write down directly. If it is more than once simply have to add those two. And please compare your answer with the what you have calculated in the beginning. Both should remain same. It is 1 by 12. Similarly, other you have to calculate and these answers should remain same what you have calculated already. This is a, about a tree diagram. Consider for the same source how to find out a entropy and entropy of each state, entropy of the source as well as how to find a G1, G2 and G3. So it is very simple. Try to understand. Solution how to find the entropy equation is known to you hi maybe h1 h2 h3 I have to find out there I will remain same probability of ij log 1 by pij now I have to find out h1 h2 h3 now pause for a minute and find out h1 how to find p11 p12 all those probabilities p13 fill it and calculate This is a H1. HI we know in general equation. Now H1 is a P11, P12, P13. These I will fill and simply I will calculate the H1. All probabilities are given in the problem statement. Fill it, calculate, pause it and do it parallelly so that you can understand complete problem. Simply if you watch it, you may forget it. It is told that 10 times reading is equal to one time writing. These are the answer. Simply fill the values and the answer for H1 is 1.5. Can you calculate H2 and H3 at least now? Pause it, calculate, then you can watch the video. H2 is uh, again same equation. Now 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3 I have to fill. And I calculate H2 answer is 1.5 bits per meter symbol. Similarly, calculate H3, H31, H32, these, uh, sorry, the probability of 31, 32, those probabilities I have to consider and I have to find out H3. The H3 answer is 1.5. I got H1, H2, H3. Next step is what? I have to find out H. How? PI, HI. Fill that H1, H2, H3 along with this P1, P2, P3, you'll get a H. Pause it and uh, calculate, then you can cross verify your answer. H is equal to 1.5 bits per message symbol. Now, how to find a G1, G2, and G3? For that, you have to find the probabilities for the length 1, 2, and 3. So all, you can write a tree diagram or write a table but uh, previously I calculated up to length 2. Using those we will find out G1, G2. Similarly G3 can be calculated. Probabilities of occurrence of X. How to find out? So path is 1 to 1 or you may get 2 to 1 or 3 to 1. Now what is the probability of the Source may be in the state 1, 1 by 3. 1 to 1 is 1 by 2. Multiplication will get 1 by 6. Like that, probability of state 2 is 1 by 3. 2 to 1 transition is 1 by 4. Answer is 1 by 2. So these are the three ways how I can get a XX, the uh, X uh, symbol from the source. This, all this if I add, total probability of X will get. There is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12. Total is 1 by 3. Similarly, you calculate probability of Y as well as probability of Z. Pause for a minute, calculate and you can cross verify. 
product of y will get 1 by 3. Similarly, product of z you will get 1 by 3. Now you got uh, all these product of x, product of y, product of z. Using this, you can calculate g. G1 was 1.5, h was 1.5, and g2 we found 0.54. It is as n tends to gn, n tends to infinity, it becomes equal to h, g4, g5, g6. In the exam, usually they ask up to g3. If the time is less, you can do up to g2. G1, G2, H, we can prove it. And G4, G5, it will take more time. These are the reference books which I referred. Thanks for watching this video.